What is true faith? Now, before I answer that question, you need to know what faith is all about. What's the definition? I'll tell you. All right, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1 says, Now faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. If you are a Christian, if you're a Muslim, or anyone in between, we all have one hope, one hope, and that is to go to heaven. We all want to go to heaven. We don't want to die and just rot in hell. We want eternal life. That's what everybody wants. So, what is the main focus we need to focus here today? Well, I'll tell you. Now, there are a lot of theories as to how a person can go to heaven, but living by faith is the main choice to follow. Living by faith is true faith. That's the answer to the question, but to whom do we get this main faith from? We get this main faith from Jesus. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, I'm going to read it right here. It says, Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, for who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. How true that is. After all what Jesus did here on earth, we can now look forward to the future prize, which is eternal life, and to worship him as God. Because Jesus is God, if you did not know. He is God. Jesus opened a way for all sinners to go to heaven simply by faith and repentance in his name. You can, you can get saved right now, my friend. Anybody can get saved. Living by faith in Jesus is not easy, though. I'm going to tell you, it's not easy for me. I get, there's a lot of troubles, I'm telling you. You're going to be ridiculed. You're going to be hated by many. I mean, you turn on the TV and there's missionaries over in Africa and they're probably being chased by a bunch of people and ah, and all this other stuff. And then here in America, where I live, um, I mean, they just make fun of Christians all the time. They just laugh at us all the time, say we serve an invisible God and that we don't serve a true God. But we do serve a true God, my friend. I serve a true God. And I'm happy to say that Jesus is alive today. He's alive and well, and He's coming soon. He's coming soon. I can't wait. So living by faith is not going to be easy. You're going to be ridiculed. You're going to be hated by many. But you really just, but you're really just reaping um, prizes and stuff because when you're preaching the gospel and you're telling people about it, you're not. Um, doing bad, you're doing good. You're doing good for yourself because God is going to reward you in heaven when you get up there. For Christians, He's going. They're going to. Re he's going to reward you really good. He's going to give you good prizes. He's going. He's going to say, "Son, you did a fine job here on earth. You weren't ashamed to tell people about me. Good, good job, good job." That's what He's going to say. He's not going to say. Son, why'd you do this? Why'd you tell people about me? You know, they're just going. People were just ridiculed you all the time. You could have just kept quiet, and that's the problem with today's society. We we're too quiet. We're too quiet to tell people about Jesus, and no one hears about it. We got to tell people about Jesus. Show the light, like I said in my other video. So the key is to not give up. We don't need to give up, Christians. Christians, don't give up. Tell people about Jesus. Keep doing it. Even if people laugh at you, even if they point your little finger, their little finger at you, keep doing what you're doing. Keep telling people the message. And our job is not to, uh, our job is not to save people. We cannot save people from hell. Only God can save us from hell. Only God. So our only time is to plant the seed. We need to plant the seed. Then the seed will either sprout and grow good or it will not um, sprout and produce any fruit at all. So keep running the good race to freedom. Freedom is just around the corner and that is heaven in eternal life. Eternal life, that's our ultimate prize. 
it's just like hiking a mountain or running a marathon, you know? It's a hard, hard trip up, up the mountain. You gotta really work hard your, your way. And once you get to the top, once you get to the top, you finally feel satisfactory. You, you made it, you did it, good job. And that's how it is in a race as well. That's how it is in a race. Um, you go and you do your best, and at the end of the race, you know, at the end of the race, you get the satisfactory that you did it. You could, you did it, and you, you got the prize. Now, when you're running a marathon, you know, only one person wins the prize. And I just want to read right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 25. It says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Everyone who competes in the games goes into strict training. They do it to get a crown that will last, will not last, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever. You see, everybody wins when we are running for Jesus. When we are telling people about Jesus, the people who are doing that, you see, everybody wins. Everybody gets the first prize, the gold trophy. And that is the crown of life in heaven. Everybody gets that. When we are telling people about Jesus, we're living by faith in Jesus. That is true faith, my friends. So keep doing what you're doing, Christian, my friend, my Christian friend, if you're watching this right now. And if you haven't started telling people about Jesus and you haven't started living your faith in Jesus, I encourage you right now to live for Jesus, to tell people about Jesus. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today, and I'll see you all next time.